All right. Hey, today what I wanted to do is talk to you about a feature uh, that Koala Writer has. Uh, actually, the Koala Chat piece of Koala Writer that isn't really getting a lot of notice and isn't really advertised yet. So in my opinion, this is a hidden feature. So let's get right to it. So um, the one thing that is uh, happening with Koala Writer is they now give you the capability of creating AI images from within the tool. So each image will cost one chat credit. So on the pricing page, for example, if you have this $9 plan and Koala Chat gives you the capability of creating 250 messages per month. So essentially at one credit per AI image, you could create 250 AI images. Now, of course, in the world of AI images, um, I don't have a ton of experience, but my experience has shown so far that not every image you create is going to be uh, one that you'll want to use. Uh, but so far, I've been having some pretty good luck uh, creating some really nice images that could be used in blog posts. So the way I found out about this, if you're not familiar with the Koala Writer Discord group, uh, you can access it from directly within Koala Writer. Uh, so when you go in, uh, what you'll see is some of the various channels that you can go in and learn more about working with Koala Writer. So uh, one of the things uh, you'll see here in the, in the channels is one called Hashtag Dream. So when you click on that, uh, this is all about the various images that people have been creating with Koala Rider. So, you know, some of them work out great and some of them not so great. Uh, but what's fun is to go through and just look at all the prompts that uh, people have been creating. Uh, and the one thing that I did ask, because I know somebody would, would ask in the comments, is how can they be used? So, um, let me see if I can locate that question here. Yes. So I asked, what if any usage restrictions are there for image images produced by the slash dream uh, command in Koala Chat? I assume they can be used on blogs with commercial and affiliate you know, like a commercial blog or a, a blog that does affiliate sales. And uh, I, one of the developers answered and said, yes, you can use them commercially. So um, I have no reason not to believe the folks at Koala Writer. They make a good product. And But I did want to let you know that I did ask that question in the Discord uh, so I could get that answer for you. So how does this work? Um, Let's take a look and see what you need to do. So all the image, this is uh, out of the Discord. I found this and grabbed it so we could take a look at it. It's a little easier to read. Uh, you know, it says all images produced by the slash dream command are now automatically optimized and should be around 100 kilobytes. That's not too bad. Um, you know, typically I like to reduce the size a little bit if I could, but... 100 kilobytes is, is generally fine. And the one thing that's uh, interesting is now they've offered some size options. So if you want to do a portrait mode, like a 16.9, 16 you can do that. Um, so they have a variety of aspect ratios that you can choose, uh, but they must be one of these aspect ratios. Uh, they also have a variety of dimensions that you can use. So let's go into Koala Chat and just see what can we produce. So I'm going to grab this, copy it, and now we'll go over to Koala Chat. And this is where you would produce your image. We'll put this in. We're going to do this real time here. Uh, let's do this. Let me type something in here. Hang on. 
So I asked it to produce a cinematic image of a fly fisherman in a river in the Rocky Mountains in, a, in the 16.9 format, the, what I believe will be a portrait format here. And let's do this real time. I'm going to, uh, normally I would stop the video uh, and wait, but I just wanted you to see real time what this is taking to produce. Uh, and there we go. So typically what you're going to find with any AI uh, tool is many times it has a hard time with people. So, you know, this one is so far off that you can't really make out the face or the hands, but a lot of times you'll end up with, you know, six fingers instead of five or, uh, you know, something interesting in the face that shouldn't be there. But that's, that's an image of a person. Um, and again, if you go to uh, the Discord and the, and the hashtag, you know, go to the dream, hashtag dream tag and go look at all the things that, are, that people are producing, you'll see some of their prompts there, which may help you develop your own prompts. So let's do something that's more photo quality. So here we go. Realistic image, photorealistic image of a bowl of fruit in a modern kitchen. So this one is definitely taking a little longer to produce. I'm, but here we go. So what's it look like? You know, the only thing that I can see that's just a little strange, maybe the, I don't know if these are grapes or a big berry. I'm not sure. The bananas look okay. I mean, this is more than acceptable. And to tell you the truth, if you have a food blog uh, and you're not shooting some photos and you just need something to put put on your blog, this would be more than acceptable in my opinion. Um, I, I just don't think people are going to pick a photo like that apart. So let's just do one more. So a high-quality professional color photo of a group of people at a picnic. Yeah, this one doesn't work for me. The faces just don't work. So the only thing that I suggest instead of something, let's just do this. Let's try it as a cinematic image and see if that helps. Sometimes cinematic really does make a difference and it makes it easier to deal with some of the facial issues that we're seeing here. Cinematic image and see if we can clean this up a bit. This one is not going to work for me either. So, you know, it's just hit and miss. And I think you're going to find with people it's going to be particularly tough. I also think, um, you know, I tried some other images in the past here, like a fly reel fly fishing reel. That didn't work. But this one, cinematic Paris skyline at dusk, works great. That's, that's an excellent image. So again, this is another one that I did. Mountain bike rider in the desert. That's a totally acceptable image. Um, works great. So, so this is what I mean. It's, you're, you're going to have to, you know, uh, try a variety of different prompts to get this to work. If you go into the discord, uh, you can go and look at other people's prompts and see what they're doing. And again, just from a, a cost perspective, um, based on whatever account that you have, uh, just be aware that, um, it's going to cost you one credit in Koala Chat. So again, if you have the Essentials, you know, uh, subscription, uh, you'd get 250 shots at creating your AI image. And so, you know, would I like to see Koala Writer make this part of the actual writing tool where I could ask it to maybe put in a feature image that's AI? Um, that would be nice. Uh, but then I would also like to prompt my own images as well. 
So from that standpoint, I don't mind putting my own image in and prompting my own image. So again, um, hidden feature. I'm not sure why it's not getting advertised a lot yet uh, on the main page of Koala Writer, but it is available for you to use. And there, if you go to the Discord, you can certainly read about how people are using it and taking advantage of it. So uh, until next time, like here's a great image. So until next time, uh, I appreciate you watching. If you found this useful, please subscribe. And until next time, take care.